the FIFA Women's World Cup is upon us and soccer fans should expect an African representation like never before. Well, we have South Africa, Morocco, Zambia and Nigeria as flag bearers in these 32 nations tournament. Today, we shine the spotlight on the Copper Queens of Zambia. The Copper Queens of Zambia are housed in Group C alongside Costa Rica, 2011 winners Japan and Alexia Futela's side Spain. Their qualification was attained by virtue of finishing third in the 2022 Women Africa Cup of a Nation. How did they get to that point? Well, let me tell you a very, very interesting story. Before moving to Morocco, you know, Zambia, the Federation of Zambia football had actually disqualified one of their key players, Barbara Banda, for high testosterone level. But Grace Chanda will leave this court to Morocco, defeating the likes of Tunisia, Togo, Senegal, before losing to South Africa in the semi finals and going ahead to defeat Nigeria 1 0 to clinch the bronze medal in these uh, tournaments where by virtue of finishing third zambia will be in australia and new zealand now let's talk about the squad bruce Mbappe will be taken or has taken to new zealand and uh, australia bruce Mbappe, bruce Mbappe has taken 23 women to australia well i mean if you see me excited this excited it means i've seen a very very beautiful woman in that squad and that is barbara banda well the captain is back having been deprived of the women's africa cup of nations due to high test one level but she is back in this fifa women's world cup and is obviously headlining the squad we have also notable names like the 2022 cav women's player of the year nominee that is grace chanda and also risha kundanaji well i know with all of these arguments you still be asking ladonets what exactly is particular about these copper queens but i want to tell you guys as they are queens and you know what queens do they reign and they have been reigning on the continent and in international competitions in 2022, Zambia was the only African side to take part in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and also they won the bronze medal at the 2022 Women's Africa Cup of Nations against who? Nigeria and the won the 2022 Kosafa Women's Championship and now the most beautiful and latest not the most beautiful actually but the most the latest and the newest achievement by these sides is obviously defeating second place germany in a pre-world cup warmer game and now the break is on for banda barbara banda beyond henry barbara banda in three two oh unbelievable well, zambia are celebrating like they've just won the world cup well a beautiful goal beautiful goal I mean, how can I even explain how beautiful from the execution to the finishing, no, from the start to the finishing, it was such a beautiful goal by Barbara Banda. I mean, with that, I think Bruce Mape has something off his sleeve and every other team should watch out for them. Now, Zambia actually is not a strong team. Zambia's squad is made up of you know local base players most of them are made up of local players base players they've not had the opportunity to play at the highest level but i want to tell you one thing they boast of is their individualities i know you would say individualities do not get the win individualities do not get these things or get the desired win at the international level but if they've been able to achieve this i think bruce marper will definitely find a glue to join that individuality into a group and into a team that will put up a great fight against Costa Rica, Spain and Japan. I trust in these teams' potentials and I believe they will bring back home the win. Now with all of these arguments, I hope I did not con Use you or rather convinced you to support the Copper Queens of Zambia in the FIFA Women's World Cup. Well, I will be bringing other profiles like Nigeria, South Africa, Morocco, so do stay tuned 